a three quarter front view. So I will try to make again uh, this uh, this drawing. All right, hoping that you're gonna like it. So of course I start always from my ground line. All right, then I try to think about about, about proportions. So I always start from wheels. Okay. And as you can see, the front wheel is almost a circle. I would say it can be a 90 degrees ellipse, but the back wheel, it's a real ellipse. You see, minor axis, major axis. The minor axis, okay? So this probably it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a 60 or 50, 55 degrees. This one is 95 degrees. Okay, so I always put this line almost at the center of each wheel, you see? Because that's the real proportion between the distance between the ground line and the bottom of the car. Some people put this line really, really low and makes the whole car at the end very heavy. So start making this line a little bit higher and just in case at the end of your drawing, you can always lower this with a new line and reproportion the whole thing, okay? So I'll try to make, this is a quick sketch, okay? Of course, when you sketch, you can always uh, modify, change things. If you don't like, you know, don't worry. Don't be, don't be uh, stressed that uh, at the first, your first sketch has to come out perfect. It's, it cannot be, all right? So I'll make a very simple shape, okay? Very simple, of course, like always, all right? So if this is uh, the front, right? Okay, so you can see we already have a sort of a car, all right? Then you can do two things. First thing, you just keep on working on this one. What I do, I always see this upside down against the light to check perspective. So this one is not that bad. All right, so what I will do now, I will start making the lines a little bit darker. So this is the line work. I'll try to make this. And when I do that, I try also to make some corrections to make sure that I can have, uh, you know, that I can nail down more a style design. Okay, because before it was just a schematic sketch so don't forget to put your center line because the center line will always help to judge you see my center line is there to judge the right part and the left part in terms of proportions Okay, so you see here we are starting to have a nice new section, all right? And uh, I think that in the back we should do something because this point was too low for me. So let's put this a little bit higher, all right? And let's also do a little bit of that, you know? You see? So we are putting a section that is kind of similar to what's happening in the front. Okay, now that we have this, let's see the belt line. Now, if I have this line here, this level, maybe I can do something like this, you see? And then from here, I can go down, make a little bit more dynamic, why not? Okay, so, 
Now, let's keep on going with this line quality thing, all right? Let's see how it looks. Check this line at the bottom to see if the proportions are correct. So in the front, we can make uh, graphics, simple graphics. I mean, that's what I will do. Then you have to, when you do the exercise, you have to try to do your own design, of course, with whatever you want. I do this just for the proportions, so that we can have a, a feeling of the front proportions, okay? Maybe we make a correction to the rear wheel because it was a little bit too much in the front. So let's do that. Now let's, let's put some uh, graphics. like mustache <laughs> then we can put some lines just to show sort of uh, air intake you see so we have an idea kind of quick okay quick sketch and this can be a sort of a quick sketch to say to see if what we are doing around the project it's okay needs to be changed you know, if there's something that can be inspiring us or not. Okay. All right, so now put a little bit of shit in here. Okay, so as you can see, very ultra fast quick sketch, okay? I hope that this was useful to you. Thank you very much.